All right, so last time we beat up the boss of Angry Aztec, and so now we can move on to some places. And we can look, look out in the... Yeah, we have feather switch. switch. We've got our feather bow now, so let's see what's behind here in this lobby. We also have two, two Dukongs to talk to. Uh, yeah, well, we'll, we'll check all of the wrinkly doors later when I come back for uh, a big old the stage. plunger. There's a big plunger switch. Tiny is too tiny to do anything with that. So let's go to this fairy island. You remember this island with the, the cave that looked like the, the big fairy head, banana fairy head? Right, it's got a banana. Yeah, in the back of it, there's a, a feather switch, and you hit that and it opens up this locked up banana that was in a cage. Oh. So overworld bananas. Yeah. Yeah, the overworld has, uh, is basically, it's a stage, it's got five gold, okay. It doesn't have normal bananas for everyone, it just has golden bananas. Hmm. Ah, but you can get real small. And, and go, go in the entrance, the there you go. Go and talk to the banana fairy. That's the banana fairy it's, queen. Uh, Look at her. She seems to be crying. She is crying. This, this is like weird banana fairy temple place. Yeah. Where you seem to be perpetually small. She doesn't know what to do. Cause there's a huge tremor recently, and it scared all the banana fairies away. It wasn't us. Uh, it was probably actually K. Rule crashing his giant boat island thing in. Anyway, she'll reward anyone who manages them to bring them back. So please help. The Chinese is like, yeah, let's all well, do it, Mrs. Fairy. We'll look out for him, because we're on an adventure. Is it really an adventure if you're just staying on your island? You won't be able to grab them out of the air, though. The only way to catch a banana fairy is by trapping them inside special banana skin photographs. The fuck does that mean? <laughs> Here's a magic camera! <laughs> uh, to activate the camera, press and hold C and press 15. C down. <laughs> And you take Fairy's picture as a sign of friendship. Now she'll teach us a secret ability. We can hold B to power up a move and release the buttons activate the move. And it's, a, it's an attack move, but also it unearths hidden items. Unfortunately. But it uses a crystal coconut. What? I... Sorry, I blanked. <laughs> what wall was that? So, we now have to that. That move right there. If you hold down B, you charge up a thing and release it, and it does that little shockwave move. Is B like your attack button? Yes. Okay, so now you have a charge attack. Yes. And also, that charge attack unearths hidden items, she says. The hell does that mean? We'll see in a moment. Here, I just, I just wanted to look around, because this temple is kind of interesting, and it's got crystal coconuts in the, the fountains for some reason. Well, to charge up your charge attack. So, uh, anyway, let's check out that camera. We already know there's a fairy, like, right next door. What? Unhappy. Happy! So, yeah, the, the, the little face there shows whether or not the fairy Yay, is Yay, that's in, definitely uh, a picture of a fairy. Thing. And when you capture a fairy in your banana skin photograph, then you get rewarded by having a uh, increase in the, the maximums of your crystal coconuts and your film canisters. And also, it refills okay. them. Oh. Okay. So this is what it means by unearthing hidden items. You get oh. those little dirt mounds, and you hit them, and you get a rainbow coin. Hey, Tiny, that's a special coin that you've picked up, apparently. It's five coins for each Kong, um... which is really useful right now, especially because it also gives coins to Kongs you haven't found yet. Uh... So our last Kong is going to start with ten coins. And I just went back into DK's house just to look around and see if I missed anything, and I kind of did. Dolphin. There's a red girder! And a, a portrait of a dolphin! I get it. Well, not the dolphin. The dolphin is, um... I, I'm pretty sure it's like a reference to, um... Because the GameCube was in development at this time, uh... and the, the GameCube project was originally codenamed Dolphin. So, uh... Let's give the next key an unlock the next place with Kalumzi. He's bouncy. What do we get for bouncing around? This rainy area. This platform lifts up. Up. And this door opens. And this grate opens underwater. 
Why? <laughs> That's three things. Stop doing things. <laughs> uh, anyway, back here there was another one of those um, dirt pads. Mm. Uh, also, that that barrel has Lanky's face on it. We don't have that yet. Yeah, we haven't gotten his abilities. There's another dirt pad, and every one of these dirt pads has a rainbow point under it. And everyone can activate them. Yes. It just happened to be tiny at the time. Yeah. Because, you know, I was tiny for grabbing fairies. Yeah. So, underwater. There was that thing that opens that grate. And here's, just kind of look around. It's got these big engines, rotor things. Mm -hmm. For his for island. His island, yeah. His mobile island. So, in here is another world, but it's not the next world. The next world is the, that door that opens. That's up at, like, the top of the island. Okay. This is the world after that. Why did it open both at the same time? Because I can't get in here yet. Oh. I don't have 30 bananas. You're apparently stupid Read my teeth! What does that... Because his teeth have 30 written on them. Yeah, show me bananas so I stop being hungry. He's not hungry. He just, K. Rule demanded that he not let anyone through unless well, they show the, him bananas. The last time, you, we, when we were opening up the angry Aztec, he was hungry. No, he wasn't. I thought he said that. No. He doesn't eat the bananas. I mean, he doesn't. He just said he was hungry. I don't think he did. Well, I don't remember that. Maybe. But no, yeah, he, 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 as he said the first time we encountered him, King K. Rool just said, don't let anyone through unless they have these many golden bananas. I don't know why he what? would do that. He could just say, don't let anyone through. Stop. Yeah. But, uh, climbing up this place here, there's, uh, this and there's some so stuff. Funny. Here's a swingy place. There we get across. And inside here is a little uh, entrance. And it's Snide's HQ. Snide has an HQ on King K. Rule's ship still. Somehow. Huh. There's a pad with Diddy's face on it. We don't have Diddy's pad ability yet. Mm. And there's one of those battle arena pads, but it has a rock on it, so we can't use it. So, uh, you can turn in blueprints at any one of Snide's HQs, and it'll turn in all the blueprints that Kong has. Ah. Uh, and the each HQ has a slightly different animation for the effects of the, the fucking Rube Goldberg machine here. The one out in the, the main map area does all of them, which is a little disappointing, because he could have been like, oh, see each one, each, you know, each of the stages, but no, you find this one and you see the full thing, and then each of the, the other ones that you find along the way, it'll be part of the thing that you've already seen now. I don't know why this, this punch glove makes the tube come down. This is another one of those things that doesn't make sense. Just shit happens. And it activates other shit. It's entirely unrelated. It's sort of a mini design ethos all on its own. Yeah! Side. Yeah. So, that was all that was back here, was uh, Snide's thing and that ditty pad and that other thing that I can't do yet. And then I missed the, the thing. But here's a, a coconut switch down here with a banana, so I'll need to grab that at some point. Yeah, I, 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 I'm gonna do some cleanup in the main map later. Right now I'm focused on, you know, doing the stages. Yeah. That was a random thing. He's dead now. He'll be back. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need to bump the brightness up on uh, on these videos. Yeah, because I can't see shit in this this version. Yeah. There's a four. Well, there's the number four banana port pad, so I won't need to climb this fucking thing again. Thank God. So here's the lobby for the actual next world, and there's a mechanical zinger. What and there's a box with a question mark on it. I, I see. I can't do anything with it yet. So what makes a mechanical zinger different from a regular zinger? A uh, mechanical zinger is immune to normal bullet shot. Oh. 
Anyway, this Spelocker only needs 15 bananas. You showed him the bananas, and that's that. Let's talk to some dead guys. Here's Drinkly. Donkey must climb up to the top floor if you want to bring the factory to life. Why would we want to do that? I guess we'll find out. That's the only one that I can look at at the moment, because uh, I can't get up there. Ah, oh, because the factory's not brought to life. Correct. And there's there's that lever. I can't do anything with a lever. I don't know how to pull a lever. Yeah, it's not like you're some kind of tool-using species. Oh boy, King K. Rolls looking at his view screen again. His TV, which is definitely not actually a TV. And there's, there's titties flying around on his shit barrel. This is a thing that happened. Catch me if you can. Yeah, these, all of these cutscenes, they're like, Rare tries too hard for this the, their slapstick comedy thing, and it really falls flat. No, like, falling flat would be funnier. Exactly. Here's the frantic factory. It doesn't seem that frantic. That's because it hasn't been brought to life yet. Oh. And hey, there's, there's our last Kong. It's Chunky. He's in a cage that's dangling above a place. Chunky doesn't like heights. But Chunky likes to talk in the third person. Of, of course. Chunky is Kitty Kong's older brother. Right, because we don't have Kitty Kong in this game either. Nope, because he's a toddler. Uh, these Robo Kremlings cannot be defeated by regular attacks. They're another thing that you can only kill with uh, grenades, but you can at least stun them with normal attacks. Could you also play the saxophone at them? Yes. Music kills everything. God, that's neat. Anyway, let's punch in. At this time clock. Which opens a hatch. Very dark hatch. Uh, is that on the timer? No. Okay. Uh, this is a window, by the way. You can't uh. really see the glass there, but there's glass there. There's a glass pane. By the way, we have transparency in this game. Yeah, so you can you can see a place back there. That's uh, the... and here's a map. We've got a map of the factory. Oh, this we're is such at... a useful thing. We're at the lobby, and you can see below okay. is production, and above is testing, and at the top is R and D. That's how a factory is organized. Yeah, and we've got a trail of purple bananas that leads to a gate that I can't open. I can't open it. I'm sad. And over there, to the left of there, it's another window. I... Another glass window. And a Snide HQ. Yep. It's the same Snide HQ that we saw in the other glass window around the other way, because it's, it's two windows leading to the same place. Oh. So it's, it's, it's a three-dimensional building that actually exists in three dimensions. Instead of all the other ones. So, uh, I, I spent a little time, I was looking around trying to find a tag barrel. Mm -hmm. Because there's not a tag barrel in that first room. In the lobby, yeah. And there's not a tag barrel down here, either. It takes a while before you find the first tag barrel in this stage. Huh. There's a couple of purple bananas by this other window, just looking out at this big old factory floor thing out there. So, uh, you know, you can just climb the pole. There's all this yellow stuff. Film canisters, bananas, yellow coins. Critter. That's, that's not yellow. I wish you were donkey, though. Yep, that's why I was looking for a thing. There were some purple bananas along the way, so I had to bring Tiny in here anyway. Here's the production floor. And now you wish you were Diddy. Yep. Everything's all sitting still, and any time you can hit a switch here, and she makes a banana barrel appear way up at the top of the world. Why? Here's the number four pad. I can't go up because everything is nothing. Nothing's moving, mm -hmm. so I can't climb the place because it's not moving. You need the platforms to lift. 
Hmm. So. That's Guess we're leaving? Yeah, that's it for this room. <laughs> uh, for now at least. This that place is far off. Storage room. Storage room. Let's go to the storage room. That's where they store things like prisoners. You can hear the cage swinging back and forth. Oh, they've got to teleport. Yeah, there's, there's our number one banana pad, and here's a tag barrel, finally. Oh, finally. So, we can have Donkey come here, and let's blast off. And there's, you can see that was the cage that had Chunky mm -hmm. in it. Let's do some blast barrel course. Okay. It's, it's blast barrels. You know, the blast barrels, you, you, you wait for them to line up, and you press the button, and you, you blast out. Just blast off. And here's like, oh, I, sh I should go through the ring first. And no, because that was the way to actually go. So I had, I missed some bananas there. So I had to just fire off to the side so I could start over. That's annoying. Yep. And then we actually grab the bananas. It just like sends you back a little bit. So things and then you get through the thing there and then you hit star in the sky which uh, does a thing it makes a lever appear in front of a donkey kong arcade machine what <laughs> yeah yeah that's what that did that's what it did <laughs> that's what that did a switch opens the door! That at least kind of makes sense! Yeah. It's in a pointless location. But it was an action that made some sense. There's some, some pads around for, with faces and some things around that I can't do. There's so many things that I can't do here. That will change pretty soon. But for now, there's still a lot of stuff that I, I come across and I can't do. Yeah, there's a box of parts. Up here, we got, if, if you have Lanky, you do the Uranus stand. Now you can walk up this steep platform. And I hit the switch. And look at that. Chunky on my heights. Well, now he's not high anymore. And he's Chunky's free. Now I have all five Kongs. Chunky can collect green bananas. Like this one. That's a little bit more green than just an unripe banana mm -hmm. would be, so that's maybe also a little bit sickly. Well, it's probably better than a purple or blue banana. So, uh, we follow this trail of blue coins up here, and that'll lead us off to a place with some good stuff. Toys. Yeah, boxes of toys. This is a toy factory, by the way. And here we've, we've got both Candy and Cranky. Right here. Right in one well, place. Let's get some more so we've got... Everyone has at least 15 coins from all the shit that I picked up from this, yeah. uh, this thing. So let's just start unlocking a whole lot of stuff for everybody. Yeah. Let's get... Lanky gets Baboon Balloon! <laughs> I don't know why it's Baboon Balloon, he's an orangutan! Anyway, you find a pad with Lanky's face on it and press C to inflate. And press Z again Seven? to deflate. Seven? <laughs> Can't see it be used for much though. So why do you even have it in the game? <laughs> anyway, uh, Lanky also can get an instrument over here from Candy. He's got a trombone tremor. The way that everything gets so, like, wavy and wobbly in this game so often... Yeah, it's giving me a headache. Yeah, I I really feel bad for anyone who has problems with all this motion. Like me. And hey, Tiny is just learning the ponytail twirl. Is that an attack, or does she fly? It's it's the, the, the jump fly thing. The same thing that Dixie had. 
So it's literally, she could have been Dixie. <laughs> yep! This could have been Dixie. It could have been Dixie, except you see, Dixie already had this move. So we had to have a new Kong who didn't already have that move so that they could unlock it on the third stage of the game. And now that's she has- That's not a fucking excuse! <laughs> and now she has a jump that's actually worth a shit. Okay. I, I just wanted to show that uh, in the tag barrel, when you select Chunky, he's just like, no, no, you're, you're fuck, don't pick me, just go over there! Chunky does not Hi, want to Chunkies. be on an adventure. My name is Squawks, and I'm here to say... Anyway, Chunky has t this Chunky's moves to what he looks like when he moves around. He's a big guy. Mm -hmm. He goes raw. And Chunky can also get a musical instrument. He plays the triangle. Just triangle trample. It's funny because the big guy plays the tiny instrument. No, it isn't. Well, let's get a potion. Okay, what's his special ability? So, his, his special things. Hunky Chunky. What? Kremlin is crush him. What? It's Hunky Chunky. He can now use a barrel with his face on it to get big. Okay. And it also uses crystal coconuts. Right. And he's, oh. he's got another one that he can unlock. He's played well enough to earn the next potion as well. Oh. Let's get another potion. Mm. It's Primate Punch. Sandwich him knuckles. Yeah, because he gives him a knuckle sandwich. So this, it's a big punch. All you understand is brute force, so here's a force of brute. You hold Z and press B. To bid, do a big punch. And that's all he's got for now. And so this is what that looks like. It's a big punch. Is that useful at all? Yes. You use it to break things. Of that course you, you would use it to unlock collectibles. Break. Yeah, yeah. Every move is basically unlock something. Use it to unlock shit. So Donkey can get another uh, potion. This one's seven coins. So he's already gotten several before. Gorilla Grab! Simium Strainus! Gorilla grab. He's gonna do this, this grab. He's a gorilla. Oh, from. It lets him left. pull levers. It's a move that lets you pull levers. You had to pay seven coins to drink a potion to learn how to pull a fucking lever. You, you... Simeon Spring. You needed to learn how to press a button. Yes. Dave and Cranky can jump higher than Diddy. That's not true. No, it's not. But now if we find a pad with Diddy's face on it and press Z, so we'll 20, get a high jump. 20 things you can do with the Z button? 